Hi, this is Carl from Web Courses Bangkok, and today we're going to do a quick instruction tutorial on how to make a very, very basic HTML page using just Notepad. Um, you don't need any fancy tools to, to make a website, all you really need is a, a simple text editor. Um, for Mac users, there's a great one called um, Coda, and for us, uh, PC users there's a really good one called Notepad++ but for today we're just going to use Notepad which is the same as the uh, the text edit um, for Macs so first thing we're going to do is just we're going to create our first HTML tag so just like this so notice how we've got the HTML start we've got space for the middle and then we've got the end and you can see the end is represented by the slash just before the name of the tag and this is a, a HTML tag okay a web page is split up into two areas there's the head and there's a body so first thing we're going to do is the, the head so a head tag like so and then inside there we're going to put our title now something I want to really show you is it's called um, syntax and sort of like the way that you write the HTML. So I'm going to tab that over just so I can see it better. Title. This is my first web page. Like so. Okay, so you can clearly see that this is the head tag and then this is the middle. So like I said, beginning, middle, and end. So below the head, we've got the body. This is our body tag. Now you notice something I keep doing there is actually starting the tag and then ending it at the same time. That just stops me making any mistakes. Um, silly mistakes are very, very easy in HTML and they're normally quite hard to spot. So if you get in a good practice like that, um, it'll save you a lot of time later. Okay, so next thing we're going to do then is one of our first tags, which is H1. And H1 stands for heading one. So already you can pretty much see that HTML, being a markup language, is quite close to actual English. So all you really need to do is think about what you want to do and just think about the English word. So if you want to make a paragraph, then probably nine times out of ten, the uh, the tag for that will just be something simple like the first few letters of what you want to do. So there's our heading, and say welcome, welcome to my website. Okay. Then below that, we're actually going to do H2. And this is a subheading. So this is called content structure. So you've got H1, H2, all the way down to H6. And it's very important for search engines to use these effectively. Um, the text size and, and boldness changes depending on what heading size you've got. And all these things you can change using cascading style sheets. And we'll look at that in another tutorial. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is a bit of text. So there's P. So P stands for paragraph. And I'm just going to use one of my favorite websites, lorumipsum.com. So that's lipsum.com. Scroll down, generate lipsum. And I'm just going to take uh, one of the lines from here just to copy it into my new page. Just like that. Okay. Now don't worry if the if it goes over like this, it's just because we've got word wrap. I can always take that off. There we go. So without word wrap you can see that it goes right over there. I actually find it easier to, to use without word sorry with word wrap. Okay, so after our P we're actually just gonna do a list. So a list is an UL for unordered list. And there's two types of lists. There's unordered lists, which are things like bullet pointed lists, and then we also have ordered lists, which is O L. Um, and that's uh, things like one, two, three, four. When you've got a list of items in order, you can also do A, B, C, or even the Roman numerals. Again, this is all changed by cascading style sheets because essentially it's about how it looks. So, UL, and inside the UL we have a list item. Okay. And again, you can see how I'm tapping this over, so I can each clearly see each tag, how it starts and it ends. So my first list item is just item 1, really easy. And I'm actually just going to copy this and paste it. Like that. Item 2, item 3, and item 4, really, really easy. Okay, so it's about time we have a look at it in our browser. Now to do this, I'm going to save it. So I'm just going to go to File, Save As. And on my 
desktop I've already created my first website folder and then I'm going to go down to save as type all files now that allows me to actually save this file now as an index file uh, with .html extension so I'm going to go index.html click on save and we're done so I'm just going to close that down go inside my folder double click on there and there we go you've just made your first web page okay so that's all for now um, and later we're going to discuss how to add images and add links